Yo, what's going on everybody? Raging Fury 55 here bringing you guys a brand new video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire um, coin roll hunting finds of the year or of one year because, okay, so I started this around May of last year and right now it's June. So I guess it's a little bit over a year, but there was a couple months where I didn't do it uh, during exams. I kind of didn't do it much either. And average is actually more like nine months, but I'm just gonna make it a year. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, there is a lot of silver here, so yeah, just get prepared and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so here are my total finds over one entire year. And uh, yeah, it, it's a lot to take in. So right here, we have a pile of like dimes. Um, this Merc dime shouldn't be counted. I actually found this like 10 years ago, but I'm just counting it because I did give away a couple dimes and some silver half dollars. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit more balanced. And then here we have some Washington quarters. I actually didn't find these from Coral Hunting. I found these from the Coinstar. I found these four all in one find and I found this other silver quarter in another find. So those are pretty good. I don't corner roll hunt quarters just because you never find silver basically. And uh, here we go with the 40 percenters and uh, yeah, it's a lot. We have 20 1969s. We have about 20, 40, about 70 1968s. And then we have 20, 40, 60, uh, 65 or 66. Uh, 1967s, as, as I said earlier, I found a lot of stuff and don't get discouraged when you get skunked a lot because I think like a lot of these finds are just from like a couple boxes. I mean, I think there's one period where over four boxes, I got, I got like over a hundred silvers and there's like other times where I open 20 boxes and get like five silvers. So it's a hit or miss. And then here we got some 1966s. I organized them by 20s. And the last little bit I just put in like in a pile or whatever. Um, here's my 1966s. I have 21 of those and I have like 10 1965s around there. So a lot of 40 percenters and you know, the silver content isn't a lot for the 40 percenters, but they add up because I have 172 40 percenters and I think that's around like $400. So that's a lot of silver. And then here we have a pile of 90 percenters about I think, let me check the calculator. Yeah, 34 90 percenters, and there's like different grades here. I actually have a bunch of BU ones in here somewhere. So those could probably go for a premium. But uh, 34 90 percenters for candies is a lot of money. Um, actually, the majority of these I found in like two hunts. And then the rest have just been like trickling in. I usually don't find a lot of 90 percenters anymore. When I first started hunting, they, they just started coming in like crazy. And then I stopped getting them all of a sudden. And then here we have some Franklins. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I count that correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Franklins. And then there's one more right here, which was found in the cash register find about like 30 years ago. So I'm not. That's not a coin roll hunting find, but I did give away some 90 percenters. So I just put that in to balance. Um, how much I found. And here's the walkers. You know, walkers, you don't really find them that often, but here's what I have. One's really beat up right there. Um, that was actually from one of my first YouTube videos. But anyway, five walkers and then three other walkers, which are also cash register finds from like uh, 30 years ago. But as I said earlier, I'm gonna add these in just because I did give away a bit of silver. So I'm just adding these in to equalize what I actually found in total. And then last but not least, we got the Franklins over here, which I didn't even have to have the room to put them over here. Um, this was this was incredible. Um, I stopped by a bank in a road trip, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we have some half dollars," and they're like, "Oh, you should be up for a surprise. These are really old." I'm like, oh, "Okay, that sounds pretty good." And then he gave me like a, an actual machine roll of just full 1958 straight from the mint. Um, I guess someone just deposited them and didn't know how much they were valued. So these are all like brand new. I mean, I'll show you one of these. I mean, yeah, they're brand new. I broke them out of the roll. Um, I just got anxious and I 
took them out. But yeah, these are all brand new. Here was the ender roll, or the one in the end. You can see there's a little bit of tarnishing on it. And I guarantee these could go for a premium, like at least like maybe $10 a piece. But yeah, those are some really good corner hunting finds. Uh, I put them all in the calculator and as you can see, there is a lot of silver, $815. And that's with the market being extremely low for silver. Um, I don't think I will sell this, but let's say the market hits like $40 or something, I, I'll probably sell it. And then I can just sell it and then when the market goes down, I'll just buy more silver. And I do have more silver over here. Um, there's some rolls of silver I, I've just bought and I got some rounds here. Um, I think there's more in here. Uh, there are some Morgans in here, which I didn't count because those were found in circulation just like 50 years ago. But yeah, a lot of stuff here. Here's a roll of Washington quarters I invested in a while back. Uh, here's a cap plus half, or not half. Yeah, it is a half. AU58. Cost me about $700. That's a good find. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this silver right here isn't even the majority of my collection in terms of price. I mean, I have like, look at this. Uh, 1869 uh, over nine. And then there's also this uh, PCGS MS64 um, 1924 St. Gaudens $20 gold piece, which I'm actually happy I bought because now gold is going up like crazy. So I might actually make it a return on that because I don't really like gold anymore. It's too volatile. So I want to sell that as quickly as possible. So hopefully it goes up and I can sell it and invest more in like this type of stuff, like junk. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, just keep on hunting this stuff will come to your hands if you just try hard enough. I will be going on a three week road trip. So hopefully during that road trip, I will find a lot of this type of stuff. I mean, I found these 20 Franklins on a road trip and that was a really short road trip. That was like just like a couple days. And this one's gonna be for three weeks. I'm just hoping I'm gonna hit that one huge score where I get like $500 of 90% half dollars. I've seen uh, people hit that before. Uh, I mean, it's pretty rare, but I'll try my best to find that. And uh, yeah, my box is actually like when I took it all out or before I took it all out, it was just like overfilled with the silver. Like you just see the madness here. Um, yeah, here's some, I think there's some Canadian dollars I bought a while back. But yeah, um, the title of this video is gonna be how much I corner hunted. I haven't actually calculated that yet. We can actually go check. All right, well, here's a note or here's a here's a notebook of what i found i haven't had the company 90 percenters 40 percenters in the boxes and when i hunted them and you see there's a lot of like question marks because a lot of this is from from memory and from looking from previous videos i think i created this notebook in like december when i actually started cornwall hunting in may the first box was in may right here but uh yeah you can see a lot of silver right here right here right here and I think I stopped doing this a while back around, yeah, I stopped in, I stopped in February. I don't know why I stopped. I just got like lazy, I guess. And I stopped putting in entries, but in total, I'm pretty sure I've hunted around. So 35 boxes here. So I think in total I've hunt about 30 grand and half dollars. Not 30 grand, I'll, I'll say more like 25 grand. 25, no, yeah, okay. I thought about it. It's gonna be around 25 to 30 grand. I'm just gonna say 25 grand to not over exaggerate the amount I've hunted. But yeah, it's gonna be around 25 grand. I think it's, maybe it's a little bit over that. I just haven't put in entries in a while because I like to think of my YouTube videos as entries. So if I wanna look at what I found in the past, I'll just go to a YouTube video and see what I've found. So yeah, I hunted 25 grand and a half dollars and this is what happened. Uh, these dimes were in dime boxes, except for the Mercury dime, as I said earlier. Um, dimes sucked for me. Like these six dimes came out of like 24 dime boxes. I mean, dimes suck in my area. So I just stopped doing them and, and I concentrated on halves because halves actually find stuff. 
And the quarters, as I said earlier, I don't hunt them. I just found these from, I found these from the coin star. So those were pretty good finds. I've yet to find a half dollar from the coin star. I've seen other people find like Benji's and Walker's from the coin star. I've yet to find one of those. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I mean, as I said, 18, I mean, $815 is a lot of money, but considering the amount of time I put in, I put into this, I probably made around minimum wage, but you know, it's fine. Cause you know, it's just a hobby and yeah, it's fun. You never know, silver might skyrocket and this figure might turn into 1500 or even two grand or three grand. So yeah, you never know what's gonna happen in the future. I'm not gonna sell right now just because silver is so low in the future. Um, maybe in the far future I might sell it, but yeah, these are my total finds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to close up on any of these coins, I guess, you can just let me know and I'll hit you up. And uh, yeah, all right, peace out everybody. Mm -hmm.